What are we doing? <laughs> we're letting everybody know that it's time for the end of the year video. So we're introing or we're outroing? <laughs> we're introing. Oh. I don't think we do outros on these. We just let it fade. Okay. Um, Thank you guys so much for everything. Or oh, wait, am I supposed to actually intro? Yeah, this is Chris from wheretesters.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Jody. I was gonna say, who the <laughs> are you? <laughs> and we're here like we were going over because this is our end of year video. It, this is a compilation of all the little things and all the little videos, or not little videos, but all our videos where I was just like, haha, that made me laugh. It gave me a good chuckle. And I squirreled them away into a file so I could put them all together for you guys right now. And we hope that you enjoy. Peace. They do have a timeout. The sun to Curry, way down to So I went on ChatGPT, typed in and asked if it could do a performance review of this shoe, but it gave me this answer. AI can't do everything. So that's what we're here for. Is this considered a collab? With Gore-Tex? Why not? It's officially licensed. Collab it. It's even on the box. This is my first Gore-Tex product. Did you know that? My stepdad would be proud. Really? Oh yeah. He like lived in Gore-Tex stuff. No, I'm just saying you haven't had Gore-Tex in any of your shoes? No. I think you have because of your running stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I play basketball. <laughs> We need the Gore-Tex for. I just figure in one of your shoes you would have had it. I did have these one Nike hiking boots back in the day because of my stepdad. Because like he was like, you need some boots. That was it. But I don't think that it was Gore-Tex. I just think that they were water resistant. These are weird by the way. They look gorgeous, but like the insides are weird. Can you say who you are? I didn't even do the intro no. yet. <laughs> my bad. Well, as an ode to Flight Mike, if you guys watch him, he's a basketball YouTuber or commentator on basketball on YouTube. Cue the intro. All right. So today I am bringing my Kennergy. I'm channeling the patriarchy, horses, my love of the Roman Empire, and Jordans. Do you like that? It was okay. <laughs> was it not a good, big enough? I like to put a little more Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> in mine, but it's cool. <laughs> Ken would do it differently. Oh, well, that was a weird, that was a weird sound. Sorry. You know what I think every time I look at this right now? M&M's. Guess who's back? Back again. Reebok's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. Da -na 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 -na. It's like they never <laughs> left, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's just constant. It's like some Prince sh I love this. These are fantastic. I'm about to go put on the Batman 89 soundtrack and just rock out. Okay, so we changed the mic placement, okay? Apparently it's been sounding a little weird anytime I look that way. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I had a whole thing and I got Taylor Swift stuck in my head. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. All I know is that you pair these with some, you know, tube socks and you scrunch them down. Some short shorts, maybe a, a knee sleeve or something like that. Perfect. Oh man. Oh man. Or should I say, whoa man? Or is that? Whoa man. Whoa man. She was a thief. You gotta believe. She stole my heart and my cat. You know what it's from. Don't act like you don't. I know. I'm just wondering if you're going <laughs> to insert yourself doing that or the actual thing. Hey, you know what these remind me of? Please. The, these shoes right here. You know what these shoes remind me I'm of? I'm telling you. Do you know what these remind me of? I think I'm going to say it. Don't. They remind me of Kobe! I'm gonna go find another heavy breathing clip. That was all her? It was not me breathing, okay? No, I'm just saying the whole idea was her. That's not me, all right? That was her idea for the intro. I should have said that in the last video, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I totally forgot that that even happened, that that was a thing. So yeah, if any of you guys thought, what the f it? That was her, man. It was not me. She thought it was funny. It was creative liberties. And I thought that sh it was funny that she thought it was funny. <laughs> and then, and then uh, I thought that your guys' reactions to it was hilarious so there we go 
But what we've got there is a ton of flex grooves and everything. Kind of reminds me of the Kobe 2, uh, the original, right around, maybe not the same time. I think the Kobe 1 was around 2006. Maybe those were 2005. They were 2005. So the Kobe 2 was around this time frame, both of which seem to have used the Nike Free model on the outsole. I love watching you have your conversations. With myself? <laughs> because no, I correct maybe. myself? Oh. At least I know that one of me is right. <laughs> Touche. I'm really hoping that a lot of people that maybe either missed out on the original and wanted to try a pair or loved the original and wanted to grab a new pair that they're gonna take these onto a basketball court. I think that that's, that's like my like my thing. I love seeing old school sh even though this isn't really old school, but I mean, it is like, it's so weird thinking about that. It's old enough where some people who are picking these up might not have even been alive when they originally dropped. <laughs> <laughs> You just f me up right there. <laughs> I'm just saying these young athletes, if they want to like try out KD, who they're still watching on TV and they're like, wait, he had this shoe. I want to try it too. Meanwhile, the guy that's still reviewing them on YouTube has a heart attack on camera. <laughs> he's so old. He's like, damn, I'm right in the f***ing heart, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Ugh, getting old is so fantastic. So those two, they're not like super descriptive. They're very bland as far as like your tech information is concerned. Maybe if these ever reach Nike or the Nike app, then they'll give you more of a better explanation, but time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see. It's been 84 years. Phenom will be holding raffles for these guys, so make sure that if you're not following them on social that you do. They'll let you know when the raffles start on their social page, so that way you'll know when to go in store and start entering your raffles. Trust me, you're gonna wanna enter in as many as you can, because if you just go to like Foot Locker or Champs or something like that, the shoe normally looked uniform outside of the white cut lines and things like that or the gray cut lines from the originals whereas this guy right here is just like a jet black overlay and then a kind of like muted black underlay and i mean i don't not like it it gives it some contrast so if you were looking for that you might dig this if you're an og head that's an og purist look away all right we got a brand new air jordan 4 this time of the craft variety not talking about the cheese. That cheese is gross. Mm -mm, makes an excellent grilled cheese sandwich. It does, but let's be real. That's not real cheese. It's nasty. I don't care. It makes my stomach happy. A little bit of mayonnaise. Two good pieces of bread. Kraft singles. One and a half slices. Perfection. Uh, by the way, in case you missed that, mayonnaise is the secret key to the best grilled cheese ever. I know a lot of people use butter, but mm -mm. trust me, use mayo on the outside of your bread. It's a game changer. It's so bad for you, but it's great. You've got to try it. These originally released, or this color scheme, I should say, originally released. Well, do I go like off of technicality or like literally list this color scheme? How nerdy do you want to get? I mean, how nerdy do you want me? Oh, behave. <laughs> so technically, this white and black look debuted all the way back in 1995 with the Air Jordan 11 Concord, but these don't feature Concord at all. Instead, they replace all the Concord hits with gold. I love gold. You know how people are like scared of shapes and stuff? Like there's phobias. Yes, the one you're thinking of has to do with like circles. So I'm, these might fall into that. Really? Yeah. Okay, so Just... yeah, that's all I'm wondering is like, is some people see this and they think like, oh, it's a pickle, I'm gonna run. <laughs> You know that lady that was like scared of pickles? No. No, it was on a talk show one time. I was at home sick, I was a kid, and this lady, I think it was on Jerry Springer, but she was like, I, I think, I don't know. Are you sure you didn't have a really high fever? Could have been. But uh, yeah, she was deathly afraid of pickles. It was super weird. So terrified of pickles. They throw pickles at me. I actually laced these up incorrectly. The horror. I missed a lace hole down here. Which then made me miss a lace hole like up here. Yes! I, I didn't know. I just yes! so go me. I'm just winning all over the place today. So for those of you guys that don't know or maybe have not watched the movie and you're still here for whatever reason, so you don't care about spoilers, in the second Spider-Verse movie, Across the Spider-Verse, part one, they actually gave you a little bit more of Miles's origin within the movie itself, which was really, really cool. It was like a big twist and reveal. You end up learning a little bit more about the spider that bit him, where it originally came from the earth that that spider belongs to and what it's kind of like condition is now. We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! 
If there's a sequel, call it like Air Jordan. Air Bud 2. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but call it Air Jordan instead of just Air and talk about how they almost lost the guy two years later and uh, how... Losing Air. No. <laughs> just, just Air we Jordan. We got a flat. Just Air Jordan. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, go from there and then fast forward to see how he was not just maintained the face of the brand, but like that shoe. Ooh. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. That was awful. <laughs> How much time left? How much time left? A minute. A minute. I got it. For those of you guys not in the know that was a 30 minute talk session on one shoe and i don't know how long this video is going to be but i'm pretty sure it's not 30 minutes i'm putting the cat yeah. thing in now what cat thing previously on avatar it's doing what our cat does it's currently <laughs> how he says that he loves you don't put that in the video you <laughs> can do that i will get up and i will smack the computer or something <laughs> Anywho, with all that being said, thank you for tuning in today and hopefully hanging out with us this whole time. How will you? <laughs> Let me know what you think of the shoes as well. Now what the hell is that? The Batman logo or is that DVD? Super clever. Man, your reaction before was way better. <laughs> what a lame. It's so clever. I'm, man, get out of here. Man, that's super clever. Dude, we were both like, we should have recorded that. She turns it on. She's like, man. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Go home. Do your Seth Rogen. <laughs> that's close. No. <laughs> Nightwing's not home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, I'm not home. This is so good.